we can start working on deploying the Atomic database. First, we prepare the host for Atomic. That means checking our Java version, setting the Java home variable, and executing an OS update if you haven't done so yet. Then we create the Atomic file system. We'll download and copy the Atomic installation package locally, and we'll get to work. We move on to the Atomic database. Creating the database involves three steps. We've already installed the database package. Now we have to create the physical database in PostgreSQL to host the Atomic data structures. We create the physical table spaces on the file system that will contain the data and indexes. Then we log into PostgreSQL and create the empty shell. Let's look at our diagram. PostgreSQL is installed. We have to create a file system for Atomic and the table spaces. Then in PostgreSQL, we create a database, a database user, and a schema. Let's look at the code. First, we configure Java. CentOS should already have the JRE. You just have to look for it. Make sure the version you use is supported by Atomic. You have to set Java Home in your Etsy profile and the location of the JRE. Then we create the Atomic file system on the DB host. It's customary to install Atomic in slash opt slash Atomic, and our user community has been doing this for decades. You're free to install it anywhere you want, but we'll stick with our traditions. Throughout the entire course, all Atomic components should be installed with a standard user. You don't need root. In certain cases, you'll need to sudo steps, but these will be indicated. From this point forward, we'll use a user called user1. We'll make it the owner of the file system. Before you start the installation, you should download the v21 install package from downloads.atomic.com. We create an install directory in Atomic in which we place the package. You're free to use anything you want. Then we unzip the package. This creates an entire directory structure that will quickly become familiar. You'll recognize action packs, external resources, tools, rapid automation, and most importantly, the automation.platform directory that contains the component executables. This directory structure is expanded after the unzip on tar. It contains the atomic file system. Let's look in the automation.platform directory. These are the components install packages. Next, we move on to table spaces. Historically, deploying the database to PostgreSQL required two table spaces, AE underscore data and AE underscore index. And it's been the case for as long as we can remember. In version 21, this is no longer the case. A single table space does the trick. However, we're going to stick with old habits. It doesn't hurt, and if you're ever confronted with an older version or having to perform an upgrade, you'll know exactly why those two directories are there. We create a slash opt slash table spaces, although they can go anywhere. We create the two table spaces and make the owner of the table spaces directory Postgres. Make a note of this because it's important. If you leave the ownership of the table spaces to any other user, the psql command will fail when attempting to create the database shell. They must be owned by Postgres. Let's move on to the physical database that will host the Atomic data. 
We su as Postgres and invoke the psql command. Then we go to work. We execute these commands. They should always end with a semicolon, or psql interprets them as a single statement. Create user with login password creates the owner of the database. Create table space creates the DB containers for the data and the indexes. They point to their physical location on the CentOS file system. The DB owner should be Postgres and map to the owner of the physical spaces. Once we've done this, we can change the owner of the table spaces to map back to the owner of the database. We use alter table space. Then we create the database. It has a name, an owner, a table space, and a few more things. The encoding part is important. So you need to check the documentation for updated information. Then we connect to the database, create a schema, and set the search path of our user to that schema. Control D lets you log out of PSQL.